Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to install Adobe Express in your mobiles. Uh, go to App Store or Play Store and type Adobe Express and you will find Adobe Express AI app on it. Please download that app and once that is downloaded, open the app. You're going to be welcomed on a home page like Adobe Express. Create stunning social graphics in seconds. Now here you'll get many options. Sign in through continue with Google, continue with Facebook, continue with Apple or continue with email. Each one of you are going to first click on continue with email. Okay, students and teachers are not supposed to use their personal email IDs. They are supposed to use only and only their school email IDs which are given by the school to them. Please, I will repeat, use your school email IDs. For example, if your school domain is, say, Army Schools, so APS, Batenda, whatever is your school domain, or if you are from DPS, you could have schools, it will be demo or so and so your name followed by at the rate of dpsg.org. So please remember that. Once you click with continue with your email, okay, you're going to suppose to write your email address. I'm going to write one of the email address and click on continue. The moment that you do that, you have to enter your password and you will get welcomed onto a page like this. So let's say you're all set and now it will give you some guided hints on try out your video tools, explore. So this is how an Adobe Express app looks like. So everyone of you who are a part of the school domain will get a welcome message like this. Hi, Shafali. So your name will be personalized, a personalized dashboard. So hi, Pooja, Shafali, whatever is your name, you'll get a personalized. If your dashboard is not looking like this, if you're not having your name, then that means you have logged in through your personal email ID, which is not right. All the students and teachers have got premium access to Adobe Express licenses. So please ensure that if you are not getting a welcome message with your personalized name, contact your school IT head or your class teacher and get it resolved. We are going to resolve it for you. Okay, so ensure you're using your school IDs. Now, if you see here, it'll say, it'll, so whatever fun activities are going around the corner, depending upon the season or the festivity season, you'll get some uh, you know, ready templates. You can make a video, you can create graphics. There are options of animating your voice, building your web page. You can have a lot of uh, generative AI, removing objects, a lot of suggested stuff, a lot of things on your class projects. If you are a part of events and clubs in your school, you can use templates which will help you. You can scroll through these different templates. There is a scroll bar here to see if you are an educator, you have got a lot of educator essentials here, learning aids. Similarly, there are cert certain suggestive quick actions. Like if you want to have, if you have a picture in which you want to remove your the background of the picture, you can use this icon. If you have to animate creating characters, you can do that. If you're wanting to create a QR code, so on. So you can just scroll through all these options. Popular templates will pop up. Now, as a part of the first license activation, most of the students are activating their license for the first time, both the teachers and the students. So this is applicable for both of you. We request you to ex at least at least export two projects. Now, this is important because syncing your licenses for the very first time with our servers helps us to understand that how many teachers and students are active on it and your license is not getting expired in that case. If you don't do this on time, there are chances that we might deactivate your licenses if it is not used for a long time. So please ensure that you are logging on to your Adobe Express at least twice a month. That is a must. But for the very first login, I would suggest that uh, generate an image, uh, you know, so generate this is generative AI for you all, which Adobe has, has given to you. So now it says try describing people, places and modes. OK, so now suppose I want to create a picture. So for, for, for the matter, right now I can write a girl. Watching. Northern lights. OK, along with a pet dog. OK, along with a. Dog, OK, so. That's what comes to my mind right now. Okay, 
and I click on generate. You have to wait for some time and you'll see that your expressions come into, you know, a beautiful picture. So you will be have to wait for a few seconds before it gets created. So let's wait. It's loading. You can see. So you can see, okay, a beautiful picture with a girl sitting and watching another light. So how amazing it is. So you get a lot of options below, okay, whichever one you want to select, you can keep generating by clicking on more as well, comes up. Now, the very first thing that I would request all the students is that on the top, you can see, you can undo and you can go back as well. But the first thing is you can see a download open there and there is an option of a share option also. You can send this. OK, so the first thing is when I, when you click on the download option, it will initially it ask you, you know, which file format do you want? You have PNG, JPG, PDF, whatever you want. So let me just, you know, stick to a JPG maybe. And when you click on download, it will, you know, ask you search for the first time when you're logging it. It will ask you permissions that, you know, they want to store it, uh, have permissions to store it on your cloud storage. So just see whatever permissions want, you want to give. You can give a limited access. You might not give a full access. So please read for the first time when you're giving the permissions. And then you can, you know, uh, download it and it will be saved. So I had already selected that my, the images get saved to my camera roll. So it got saved. So you can say choose the destination in your camera, uh, sorry, in your phone, in your phone where you want to save it. So this is one option. The other options you'll see is that, you know, uh, it here it says, you know, you can invite, you know. So now if you want to invite more people, you know, to collaborate, you want to save on your Google Drive or you want to invite more people, you know, your friends to, you know, edit this or you if you want people to collaborate, you know, you can invite people can access it or there is an option that anyone with the link can see your 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 picture so you can either send a few picture a few people access or you can send so i would suggest you can you know share whatever you're creating and select anyone with the link so that everyone can actually see what you have made so ensure that you're giving the access and just copy this link and yeah there you go now you can go to your whatsapp and and paste this link and share with your friends and family there is another option okay Three dots on top are on, on top are there. I click on these three dots. Now it gives me different options. You can all explore it. And uh, so it says resize, you know, add page, duplicate. There are a lot of settings. So I'll I'll request all of you. You can, you know, uh, do that. And let me just try to send this picture to someone of my own. And let's see. So we have here this. Uh, let me just click here. Let me download again. Yeah, so can you see it says save to your camera? Now, if you're enjoying Adobe Express, I would request all of you that give it a five star and submit it. Okay, this would really help us. And you can also write a review if you're enjoying it. Okay. And you can write from which school you are totally up to you. Okay. But at least, yeah, you can give us a good star if you're enjoying it. If you're enjoying it, that's what I'll say. You can keep exploring. You can delete. You can keep, keep exploring these options here. Okay. And now let me see. Now I click on share. Now, if you want, you can share it. You know, there are different options. I click on share. It says preparing file again. Uh, until the file is ready, please be on the screen. Do not exit. OK, now it is making your file shareable. OK, so if you want to share it directly, whatever you, you know, you have you have created on the go with your uh, family or your class group or Instagram or any social media page that you you have. So it'll say I can airdrop it. I can mail it. I, I can I can you know, share it with in my business group. I can save image. You know, all of those options are coming. So let me send this thing to my son. So I, I, I just click here and I say, hey, whatever. Hey, son. Watch the other lights. So. All of that can be done on the go. It's a very, very, it's a very friendly platform. So yeah, the picture has gone. So 
this is what you can do for the first time that I want you all to explore. Going back, so like this, you have the option you can, you know, uh, create, uh, you can create a graphic also if you want to send us a video. Uh, happy to share with your teachers and your teachers further can share with us or else we'll be floating one of the Google form to you where you can submit uh, time to time. We have a lot of competitions, you know, around the year. Every month we keep two challenges for the students uh, where you can, you know, uh, roll out your projects on our Padlet links. Uh, Army Day is coming up. We have an we have a challenge for Army Day where you can, you know, honor the soldiers, your teachers. You can ask your teachers about it. They'll be briefing you. And now where is your get stuff getting stored? So you'll see that whatever you make gets stored here. So it says your stuff. Click on your stuff. So whatever you have made uh, comes up here. So these two images we made have got stored here. And yeah, there's there are there are a lot of options. There are for the for the students, there will not be any option as educator resources. Educator resources is only visible to the teachers. But yeah, you can create any templates that you're creating get saved here. So a lot of things to explore. I would request all the students and teachers, you know, please try. You can try generative AI. So again, I'll go down. This is a must. Please, you can generate two images if you want, or this is a must. At least generate two images for us uh, at the first go and dedicate something for the army day. Definitely, it's coming here and on 15th of Jan. And try exploring the web page option as well. Try making a video if you want to make an Instagram reel or anything or animate your voice or dedicate any any birthday wish for your parents or anything. Please explore it. And that's all from my side today. Uh, we will be coming up with the next activity of how exactly can you log in through the uh, web uh, web page as in as in if you're logging in through your laptop. How do you do that? I'll be presenting that to you. OK, so we finished on how to download an app and work through it. Now, let me see of how you are going to log in when you have just a laptop or a computer and you don't want to use the phone. OK, so let me just quickly share my screen again. So for that, open any browser of you want students and teachers can open any browser. It can be Safari, Firefox or any other edge you want and just write in the URL new dot express e x p r e s s dot adobe dot com. And the moment that you do that. It will again ask you the same thing. Enter your email ID and continue with your school password. Now, please again. OK, now here I would suggest that when you are logging in, please go in incognito window. Why I'm requesting is because sometimes you can see on the right hand side, you are already logged in with your personal email IDs. OK, some of the students came up with this query, so I'm remaking this video for you that if you are logged in through your personal, your mother's or father's email ID on your browser, and if you enter the school email address, sometimes it gives you trouble and you're not able to log in. So what you can do is there are three dots here and please choose something which is called the new incognito window. Just use that for the login and all you need to do is the same process. E enter your email address and continue. OK, so that that's what you're supposed to do. I'm going to continue with my. Email address and once you do that, you get two profiles like this personal and one of the school profiles. Don't go for a personal profile. Please click on your school profile. Some of the students might only get their school profiles and not two circles. Any which ways you have to choose the first one. Click on it and you're going to land up on a welcome page like this. So you will see that like I told before, that you will get a personalized message. So it says, hi, Pooja Upadhyay. Students, please remember all students and teachers who have access to Adobe premium licenses, Adobe Express from the school will have their personalized name. If it is not appearing like this, then means you're not on the right 
you know log in you have either logged into your personal id which we do not want that will not be a premium license so if you're not getting your personalized name please contact your school department school teachers or the it head of your school now again similar things like i showed in my previous uh, in my previous app login there the the entire ui was different here uh, you will have a better view you can see better uh, the the field view is view you can is is broader and you can make, create lovely projects here so again fun activity some of the fun activities they keep changing like design an ugly sweater is something which is rolling right now Re design your creative hero card make your video create a graphic animate your voice okay quite similar things are coming up yet again you go down here it says generate an Im image so yeah let's try the a, a different thing here okay so maybe I, I'll say a flower, a rose flower, maybe we can say a rose flower in a garden full of different plants. Okay, maybe we can try putting that into. So please, I would request all the students that if you are violating any terms or entering anything which is not age appropriate or which is not as per the education standards it will if you're violating the terms it will give you a pop-up that this is not okay and and you have to please ensure that you're putting the right words because this platform is specifically trained for students teachers for education purpose so you have to be very thoughtful and you have to you know create proper sentences so when you click on generate, you'll see that it takes some time. So just have patience because it is generating an image based on the inputs that you have given. So can you see a beautiful rose flower has come? You can keep generating more. Now the same way, like I explained earlier, you can download in whatever form you want. In your, in, so you can, and everyone should download. And the most important here is how do you share with others? Click on share. Here, view only has to change with allow others to use and create a link. And you'll see that this link has been generated. Just copy that link. And yeah, that's shareable. You can also, you know, click on make a template, which is again very interesting. Now it says only invited people check to anyone with the link. Click on make a template. You can name your template. So rose temp one, it's a template one that we have created. Okay, create a public template, which we have done. And just copy that link and click on update link and that's it there you go you can share it with your friends and family or any 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 media pages that you work you can i know most of the students are really i think it's the most in thing that are on active on social media but definitely since exams are coming please focus on that as well but yes if you have something really interesting a few tips that you want to make you know for your friends uh for how should they give their practical exam uh, to in the boards you can create short notes you can create a web page on some uh, you know quick board exam tips for physics chemistry maths and other subjects create your lot of project based activities are there for most of the schools you can use the templates to make your projects uh, creative share with your friends and keep adding value um, you can use hashtag adobe express if you are putting it on your social media accounts. You can tag Adobe, you can tag us. And uh, my name is Pooja Upadhyay. And you can reach out to us uh, and we'll be happy to share more learnings with you. So with that, thank you. And I hope you all have enjoyed this session. Keep creating, spread the joy of creativity, be inquisitive and share what you have made with all of us and yeah happy army day it's coming up and enjoy